Can you speak? Hold on, lovely. Hello, people too shy to say fuck buddy. We know, it's alright, we know. Uh, brilliant. And you guys seem like you're all auditioning for the new series of Friends. And just like got the whole. And then you said flatmates and friends. What you're subtly saying there is, I hate the people I live with. <laughs> that was quite clever. Uh, well done. <laughs> When somebody said yes, I thought, oh, yeah. oh, but no, they're in, oh, you're grassing your friend up. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Doc, have you slipped onto the radar a little bit there? Which part of the US are you from? No, I don't know about it. They're a bit famous for being bad at geography, but I think he knows if he really concentrates. Oh, is it in a northy bit or a southy bit? Yeah, north. Yes, a naughty bit. Okay, that's about, about as much as we can hope for, isn't it? And have you been to comedy before in the UK? No, I haven't. No, I'll explain how it works. You're a bit of a long haircut boy at the front. Um, then we find the Americans in the room. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, the next hour and a half is about you. <laughs> yeah, right, a lot of comedians say mean things about Americans. I'll do it quickly, we'll get it over with, then we can move on with the show, right? This is true, I read it in the paper. 12% of Americans think Joan of Arc was Noah's wife. <laughs> hey, don't worry, I'm going to explain. <laughs> she was a French woman, so we burnt her. <laughs> oh, a few fans of burning the French. <laughs> No, in fairness, I actually shouldn't say mean things about Americans, right? My other half is American. And he said something recently, though. I think you'll agree, this is outrageous. He said, there is nothing you've got in Britain that we haven't got in the US. But is that a bit much? Yes, I mean, that's a bit much. There's nothing you've got in Britain that we haven't got in the US. So I took him to the Cuban embassy. <laughs> Watching, I'm going to shock you, actually watching a controversial act. <laughs> I have had, two weeks ago now, I have had a formal complaint made about me. Because <laughs> like most of you have been to comedy before, right? Yes, give me a chair. <laughs> right, you know how it works, if you get bored, you heckle, chuck some beer around, right? It's fine, it's fine. This bloke wrote a letter. <laughs> Because it started off like, dear sir or madam. Because <laughs> it's a shame because I like to think that it's obvious. <laughs> so, yeah. And that's a bit of an odd thing to do on stage as well as that my doctor wrote to me uh, about a month ago to remind me, and this is very important, to write, remind me to check my breasts for lumps regularly. And that's a, that's a very important message. Somebody's just laughing at the word breasts, well done. Um, <laughs> in a minute. Um, and anyway, it's, it's, literally, this is true. She wrote in the letter, she wrote, there is no need for a fancy routine. <laughs> it's a shame because I like to do it to music. <laughs> anyway, this guy wrote a complaint. He was complaining about one single, one line joke that I did. Who would like to hear it? Yeah. Yeah. Right, see if you're offended by this. All I said was, why is it that so many kiddie fiddlers have the first name Reverend? <laughs> Go on, someone get your pen out. <laughs> it's not the first time I've been complained about. I was complained about last year at the Edinburgh Festival and uh, I'll tell you the joke that I got complained about. I probably won't have time to tell you the complaint, but this is the joke. My sister has been holidaying recently in China. Now, I didn't know this before she went away, but she's one of these ladies who likes to have a regular Brazilian waxing. Don't worry, I'm not going to do a survey. <laughs> Suffice it to say, I'm the opposite. I grow it long, consider it a feature. <laughs> anyway, she, was, she went to a salon in rural China and asked for a Brazilian wax, and they had never heard of this. They thought she was crazy. But she was really determined, right? She was drawing pictures, acting things out. <laughs> Eventually they said, all right, we'll do it. But just to clarify, should we remove all of the hair? And she said, oh, no, I want you to leave just a little strip. And uh, when she looked down afterwards, they'd left a horizontal strip. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, well, I should leave 
you with this line, but this is the line you got complained about the last time. Uh, she said, it looked like her cunt had a Hitler moustache. <laughs>